comes. Alrighty, these are just some money I do me long up shady. So I'm gonna put some stuff in this and I'm cool. E T O M Z. Watch this say B C one real life and T V R one. Oh yes, I'm going to abandon it. And this is the genius Sia. So we're gonna we're gonna be taking you on an amazing adventure where you learn the amazing world of science and technology. Now I'm planning to get some fun about dressage. If you know nothing about it, collega, we gonna tell you all about it. I'm planning. Instead of cool looking about fit, I'm planning to very fun about to get dressage, also known as a horse belay. Yeah, but I'm a hashish I belay. But lay out. Well, I'm trying to get a buffet too. We're going to be visiting the South African Lipizzaners. La Pana get a kailam emigrant. See within. So once again, let me lay. Yeah, kalagan jani. Forty kentera ganjani. Mm-hmm. It dressage game has become one of the highest forms of horse riding. Forty is also an Olympic sport. Absolutely. So we're trying to get numchi. Joy shang empela it dressage. That's what tin be okay. Bela ma hash. I will let's kutu kutu kutu. Acha iba shay belay. I bole. Okay, okay, okay. So are you ready for today's show? Are you ready? Well, let's get the show on the road. Yes, what's coming up on today's episode of TOMZ? Sivarashala, the South African lip is on as Ekailami. See how they train for their demonstration shows. Tolagabanzi, how um cheat that we shang in Braille and don't forget to search. Tolagabanzi, all about the Lipizzana bloodlines. When did the art of dressage begin? What does the future hold for this ancient sport? Take a quiz to find out how much you know about horses. Sambe! All right, my friends, it's Philip Willis Oskati. Let's just sit down and This is the very time where we get to interact with you guys via our social media pages. I'm trying to guess and most guys ask what is the lifespan of a horse? We call us with two women on the on Facebook. All together, fifty years. Okay, very nice. Let's be like a special Uzita. All together, only ten years. Ten? I pull me because Nazi has to be like Lingana Nami. Come on, you got a fit to keep those comments coming in on Facebook and on Twitter. On Facebook, you are TRMZ. On Twitter, at Tom's underscore SABC underscore one. I'm Simon Sigmund and Miss Bona Bona, Martin. Right in front of Unubani Kamalako? Untans. Do you mean Angiona likes Colin? Ah, uh, my next. We are from Nelan. What's your favorite subject? Uh, physical science. After matric, what do you want to do? I'm um, going to be a cardiologist after my studies. Okay, nice one. I'm going to be a cardiologist before. Yeah, last year. What about you? Go, Paul Kibela. I'm going to be a cardiologist because I got to go to the museum and go to the museum because I'm going to be a cardiologist. Paul, what do you want? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be a cardiologist. I'm going to be a cardiologist. Okay, fine. I'm going to be a cardiologist. Wow, I'm going to be a cardiologist. I'm going to be a cardiologist. I got a new key vessel. I'm a little bit of 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 a like, <laughs> mm, okay, cool. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to now, Fanji gets Finnegabanzi about the amazing world of dressage for the wonderful Lipizzana horses. Must guess Finnegabanzi what exactly dressage is, though. It is such a French word meaning to train is a form of horse riding where horses are trained from the age of three to perform exceptionally difficult and graceful movements with very subtle and barely noticeable cues from their riders. Now the highest level of dressage movement is called haut equal. Now these movements, also known as air above ground or horse belay, take many years of training to perfect. Now, the most famous breed of horse used in demonstration performances of Hout Ecole is the highly intelligent Lipizzaner. With less than 3,000 pure breed Lipizzaners in the world today, these horses are considered rare. Now, Le Luana is Niklaganjen are generally all born dark, black, brown, or gray, and develop their famous white coats between the ages of 6 and 10 years old. The history of dressage dates back to around 350 BC when Xenophon, a Greek military historian credited as the father of the sport, wrote The Art of Horsemanship, describing the use of horses in war. The Lipizzana breed itself dates back to around 1562 when Archduke Maximilian started to breed Spanish, Italian, and Arab Oriental horses in Lipica, Slovenia, that evolved into the famous white horse, the Lipizzana, as we know it today. 
Dressage became an Olympic sport in the 1912 Olympic Games in Stockholm with only commissioned military officers eligible to compete until 1952 when the rules changed to allow civilians to compete. In 1944, a few selected Lipizzaners were rescued from war torn Europe and brought to South Africa by Count Jankovic Besson. The Stalins at Kailami are direct descendants of those horses and their predecessors. In 1960, Major George Iwanowski of Poland began developing the South African Lipizzaners Equestrian Center in Kailami, where he gradually built up a team of eight stallions which traveled countrywide giving performances. Jingle was to look at Namsanja Sifuna get dressage. You wanna get dates back to like ancient Greek times when the military would train Iashizabu to evade the enemy whilst in battle. But it's really beautiful to watch. Minangitige, Abakibeli, Futi, Namash Abu, they actually trained together for years in order for them to. You know, but when I listen speed, you are able to actually perform publicly. So when I look at Joseph Tabangan on Facebook and on Twitter, we'll see you on the flip side of this. This is of course TMZ, Nsatle Namusia and the beautiful Buntu. Thank you. Now I'm trying to get to feel like your horsepower. And to be exact, we're talking about Lepazanas. They're actually a very rare breed. There's only like 3,000 of them in it. And and they were almost extinct in World War II when there were only like 250 of them left after the war. Yeah, and that's why the general pattern actually placed them under a control here in the United States. And mm -hmm. their breeding is high and also it is controlled. Oh, protected. I guess big game. Yet again on another mission, it's going to be lit. So I'll tell you what, let us do this mission thing. What's your so when I'm Jenny Fitz, what color name like? I got a last year. Uh -huh. So so far each journey I call it being Jan, don't cause it with Kathy. Um Nandi is your keeper when Zagala and enjoy a book. A Kalen Gubenzim. Uh Bobin Tobunga joy like uh Gubenzim. Exactly, And then we are corner now what can I do now? What I'm supposed to do? We are born in the Ganja. So since it was new for you, I mean, I'm going to go as the Ganja. Like, okay. since I'm not going to go to the Mahashi, no, I'm going to go to the Yatin to test you. It's too big. I'm going to go to the Gabans. I'm going to go to the Ganja because I'm going to go Oh, yeah. wow, 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 Last day, showed the tenting ends Exactly. Yeah. So when I almost got like
The Lipizzana breed is descended from Spanish horses that were imported to Slovenia in the late 1500s and interbred with Italian and Arab Oriental horses. The breed was founded by six Lipizzana stallions from which all approximately 3,000 living Lipizzana horses today are descended. All six of these bloodlines are represented at the South African Lipizzana Center in Kyalami. The bloodlines are descended from February, born in 1779, Conversano, born 1767, Pluto in 1765, Mistoso 1773, Siglevi 1810, and Neapolitano, born in 1790. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm very well, thanks, and you? Uh, see ya. Pleased to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. So please tell me, what is it that you do here? I'm a rider at the South African Lipizzanas. Okay. So my role is to train horses and it is also to train the up and coming riders. I want you to take me through all the, all the gear that you have on the horse. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, this uh, is Favori Nanzi. Okay. He is tacked up with a snaffle bridle right. because he is a younger horse still. Mm -hmm. The bridle is the metal and leather thing we have on the oh, horse's head. Oh, this is the bridle. That whole thing is the horse's bridle. All right, cool. Correct. This is the horse's bit. It is inside the horse's mouth. Okay. It is of smooth uh, metal. And as you can see, it doesn't hurt the horse in any way. Okay. And that is how we control the horse. When we pull on the left side, the horse's head comes to that side. Right. When we pull on the right side, the horse's head goes there. And I want to know, what, what is this? All right, that is a saddle. A saddle? Yes, it's called a saddle. It is basically the seat that the rider sits in. OK. It um, serves two purposes. First of all, it is a bit more comfortable to sit in something backside shaped I see, okay. um, for the rider, mm -hmm. but it's also more comfortable for the horse. Then those are the stirrups, okay. all right? The, st the stirrups themselves, uh -huh. and they are attached to the saddle by means of the stirrup leathers. Okay. So we will only untie these stirrups when we are ready to get on. All right. So please take me through the challenges of actually maintaining a horse. I mean, from its health, to feeding the horse, and just maintaining it, basically. Okay. Yeah. All right, so to start with, you have to feed them. They okay. eat all day and every day and permanently. <laughs> That's how they should eat. Yeah. And um, so they are actually very expensive to feed. Mm. You, you know, we have to find a lot of money to feed one horse, let alone 32. Wow! I'm just, like, you know, among the silent guys, to think that so much dedication goes into making horses dance. Look, man, it's truly a passion and takes major dedication, eh, Bolio? Yes. We really love hearing from you, Mzanti, so please be very interactive with us on our social media pages. On Facebook, once again, we are TRMZ. On Twitter, at Tom's underscore SABC underscore one. With that being said, quick commercial break, Sabuya, after these. Tom's. When it comes to side take entertainment, this is of course it's here in I'm trying to give a fair to Spuna Gabanti about the amazing and the graceful sports. And to our YouTube Sarge, I'm trying to get we are at the South African Lipizzanas. Spuna Gabanti, and the sport lace. Many years ago, that all 3,000 Lipizzanas is Pilar and I'm trying all descended from just six stallions from the late 1500s. Yo, hey! Yo, yo, now that is absolutely fantastic. But when I love it, it was a fun old was on Julie. I go big it So I'm going to get like car calling to so on your trainer, my hashila palace, and I'm going to go to the station or trainer ganja. Okay. So I tell him my man. Because I'm going to call it as she lived down. She lived down. She lived down. She had trained. Velos of confusion going to be in Chabon Alfundisa one, two, three. Looking at Velos Sagba. So, I'm going to go to the city. I'm going to go to the city. I'm going to go to the center line. 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 And then, I'm going to go to the center line. I'm going to go to the center line. I'm going to go to the center line. Oh, I'm a rider as well. I'm a rider as well. And then, I'm going to go to the around the second. I'm going to go to the center line. I'm going to go to the center line. I'm going to go to the center line. Mere kente, mere luok. Mere guazlo, bo mo tu mete guazlo. Mere azi futu changea ama direction. Ogbogela a dressage performance is always entertaining, even if you don't know anything about the sport. But having a bit of background knowledge will enable you to truly appreciate the skill of the horses and riders. So here are a few tips to make your spectacular experience more enjoyable. Now, a good rider will have what's known as a good seat, which means that there will be very little movement in the rider's hip joints and pelvis. 
The rider's feet should be facing forward with the toes up and the head should be looking straight ahead. You should not be able to see the rider communicating with the horse verbally. White form on the horse's lips is a good sign of a comfortable and attentive horse. Pinned back ears and a constantly swishing tail is a sign of a tense horse. So, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the to we have a lot of people who inside leg. We have okay, many seven and nine, seven and nine, 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 seven days. We have a lot of people who are in We have a lot of people who are So we have a lot of people who are in the Now, we have a lot of people who are in the house. We have a lot of people who are in the house. We have a lot of people who are in the house. We have a lot of people who are in the house. We have a lot of people who are in the house. Cross the long, long darkness. They cross the chair. So we are enjoying our footage match. We are going to match. We must do this. We are going to say that men and women are good. Since they last change, last change here to me as okay match. Must change again. Left to left, left to left. So men and women are going to be the same. So we 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 There you have it, Mzanti says Fundega Manzige Bafetunga Mahashi. We came, we saw, and we conquered. Then I be CBSA CBSA again. Mission accomplished. From your boy Sia, Minangi Busela, back to the studio. Woo! I give a fair to that is Kuma Mahashi Nam Slange, Ning Boni Ling Sekalam, get the dose, I'm getting the dose of Kone Boland. But right now, though, it's now time to actually put your knowledge to the test with our Tom's Quiz Challenge. So you two at home can play along on Facebook and on Twitter. I still scratch like which team you are rooting for because we just love hearing from you. No, my guy, I'm going to All you have to do is simply slide in the DMs and I'm going to email on Tom's at sabc.co.za. Let's play the Tom's Quiz Challenge. Hola TRM Zers, now it's good to see you guys are very special to us and that's why when Kobe and Amplange we decided to visit Pafukhang Secondary School. Jeng and Jailo gets his Miss Celeste ready to see on the ball to have some fun with you guys and that's why we are ready to explore the amazing world of science and technology. Action! Are you guys ready to experience the ultimate edutainment? Copa Vela, we are all about sci-tech. We asked the learners what they knew about science, their technology, and how it influences Elilisa that we live in today. And we all know how the old saying goes, knowledge is power. But with this power, we can give birth to great future leaders. All of you guys. So we handed out some awesome books that will empower the learners and leave them motivated. As in Wadike can also assist the learners with career guidance as this is the time for them to be thinking ahead. Now as a good there's no harm in mixing play and learning and we did exactly that with Dance of Challenge Year 2. The Sia and Akari went up against each other and we also gave the learners a chance to dance with us to see who could outdance them. Alright, I'm going to say that I'm going to go to Tom's Quiz Challenge here to Nam Slanji Silana. It's so weird to a Pafukhang Secondary School. Now you can also play along on our social media pages. Alternatively, I'll send you an email on tomsnsabceducation.co.za. Now, I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say I'm going to say I'm going to say that I'm to I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm Cool. First question, I get started. A colt is a a female horse, a male horse, a female baby horse, D, a male baby horse. All right, what's your answer? A male baby horse. The correct answer is D. A male baby horse. We then moved on to the second round where Abigail Koza, a grade 11 learner, knocked out everybody and made it through the last round to play the speed round master. Can she take on the pyramid puzzle? Let us see. Um, I'm feeling good. Yeah. Feeling good? Next, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Now, this is why I'm CBs are learning Tom's speed round master. Now, I'm going to challenge you. 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 
You have two minutes to do that, and your two minutes starts right about during a match. 10 seconds gone on the clock. So some meters are going and jungle one alone. Rabu. Two is cut to see a humble. A sample is a swam, a sample is a swam. All right, now Zog, and 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 I'm feeling very excited. Ika Malaka will be on the town's log and she will compete with other learners from other schools. How are you feeling now? Yo, I will be super excited. <laughs> from excited to super. Well, that's how we do it right here on TOMZ Buffet. So thank you so much for joining us and I hope that you guys are also playing along on Facebook and on Twitter. Right now though, see Buisela back to studio. If you want us to visit Iskolo Sako, please do drop us an email to TOMZ at sabceducation.co.za. Dress riders and other competitors have to go through 11 different moves in order for them to be trained professionals. But with all this technology happening in the air with this ancient sport, how's the future looking for dressage? The future sees dressage dress of riders evolving to a more modern, breathable and lightweight style of show coat and shirt than traditionally worn. According to the results of a survey commissioned by the Federation Equestry International, shorter dressage formats will be crucial to the future of the discipline. Itignology has entered the world of dressage with a train meter, a revolutionary online training platform for those horse riders worldwide. The train meter is a service which connects amateur and professional riders with trainers from all over the world for remote training via webcam in real time. The interactive dressage simulator, a new pressure sensor technology, gives riders invaluable information about how they are affecting the horse and what the horse has been feeling. Exciting, isn't it? Whatever. Whatever, Betsy, thank you so much for tuning into TMZ. Once again, Jeng and Tlali and Zalaika Grace CBC One, we laugh and TV are one. Now, if you still want to interact with us, it's really easy. All you have to do is simply head on over onto Facebook and on Twitter. On Facebook, we are TMZ. On Twitter, at Tom's underscore ACBC underscore one. Oh, he said it all, guys. Bye bye! Next time on Teenagers on a Mission, take a trip to a professional tattoo parlor, find out exactly how a tattoo is applied. Check out the latest trends, Quisoweto Ink Festival. Find out what types of needles are used. How long has the art of the ink been around? Check out what technology has in store in the very near future. Test any knowledge yet to have the science behind tattoos. Ninga Kato Bugere Tom, same time, same place, Konalago SABC1. Zansi, for sure.